Hey guys, so here is the vehicle. I already take everything apart uh, out of the box. Everything laid out as nothing broken. Plastic though, they tend to break in you know shipment, but uh, this one seems to be perfect. Everything looks good. I checked everything before I put it together. Okay, and here's the manual. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna put it together together okay so we're gonna assemble everything together in this video all right so let me get the, my tools and get the manual and we can start going from there start make sure you go get your Phillips screwdriver and they have included this tool to uh, later on you can uh, attach the wheel really easy uh, so you gotta make sure to check it in this bag all right so right now you want to install the first part okay Cinnamon. okay so get your clipper and clip off all these cables that attach to it so there are two different types of screws there's five of this m16s and there's like a whole bunch of uh, and 12, uh, the total should be uh, 26 here and 4 or 5, that's total of 30, 32 ish. Uh, <clears throat> so I have the M12 connected to here and here, and this is what it looks like. Okay, straightforward. Okay, and here's the back. So let's just let's flip this thing over and then install it. So there's four M12, which is the smaller screws, goes here. And this is the front. This is towards the front. There's a headlight, as you can see. Uh, pay attention. So this second bar, smaller bar, is facing inwards, okay? And this is what it looks like from the top down. Okay. All right. Continue. So I successfully uh, insert the front wheel. Uh, there's no much uh, resistance there, which is good. Uh, I tightened it up really well right here. I only use one washer, and guys, there's a little piece, uh, the black plastic piece, right here between the wheel and the bar. So make sure that you insert that as well. Use the wrench, the plastic wrench, to actually tighten it up. When you are done, you can actually put the cap on. Okay, for the rest of the wheels, uh, you attach this plastic piece uh, with the M12s again. The M12 screws, there's only three for each. But gotta pay attention, these, they don't go all the way down and don't go crazy with the screw. Okay, just give it, you know, a good push. Uh, goes like halfway down and it should be good make sure it's secure and everything all right move on to next step okay, so this is the back of the vehicle okay so you're supposed to put these two bar they call it uh, shock absorbents so and make sure these two go right in there and the way you do it is you pull this tab back on both sides and then push it in same deal here pull the tap push it in that's it so all the wheels are connected and everything uh, uh, one note here is that when you tighten this screw on both sides because it's on the same strut what you do is put this one in on one side and one in the other side and tighten it both together at the same time so that's how you get uh, both sides to be connected all right and then for the cap it's just very very straightforward just put it in like this and then give it a push and then you should be good There you go. 
Alright guys, so the front fork Let's go up all the way And then you put the washer in There's a smaller washer You can put it in there And tighten it up with this uh, smaller nut And they also provide you this To make your life easier Like this There you go And then just tighten really well But at the bottom <coughs> You gotta make sure that uh, This is hooked right into the center piece right here there's a hole right here let's see what I can show to you so when you turn with the wheel like this and it turns the wheel okay so that's that's pretty easy part right there so it's almost done here so let's move on to cover on with the M12s you only need like three screws I already screwed in there and it goes right in there Pretty easy, very straightforward. Okay, now with the battery, make sure that two terminals are connected, negative and positive. Okay, and at this point, if you turn it on, it should work. There you go. Now we just attach the seat, and uh, thing is looking good so far. Uh, and put a screw right here. All right, and. Here is the guard that goes, I think, right here. Yep. Right here. My kid is waiting, He's taking a shower. They are ready. And this is it. I gotta give it a good push. So snap in at the bottom. There you go. The whole thing almost done. Let's put the screw together and call it the day. Folks, the vehicle is fully assembled, okay? Everything connected. Make sure that you have your battery connected properly. Turn it on. So here you get... This is the headlight, which is go from here. The two. And lights in the back. Okay? Let me turn my phone lights off so you can see it better. There you go. There's no pause or anything. Uh, this is where you charge it, right here with the charger. Okay, this is going forward, stop, or going reverse, lights off, battery indicator, USB connection, uh, music, story mode, yada yada yada, you can plug in your uh, MP3 player, you can plug in your headphone if you need it. So, hey, this is how you operate it, okay? Turn this on going forward, okay? And actually, this is the accelerator. It just turn and then it, it rides. Very, very straightforward, okay? Same thing with reverse. It's going back. So, it's kind of like the real vehicle. And uh, here is actually the brake is not the accelerator okay it's not the gas pedal this is actually a brake and that's it guys I hope this video helped you out okay I know a lot of people don't like to read the menu uh, too much text and it's very difficult to like navigate through page by page and then putting things together so I hope this video helped you out and if it does give it a thumbs up click on helpful Thank you.